Hello and welcome to Vintage 2019 at Yona Estate. Finally I managed to arrive here. Too and late. Too late, as <laughs> every year of course. <laughs> and I'm me. more than happy uh, that Raphael and Flore have done such a great job so far. But we have some issues with 2019, especially why are the crop levels so low? Mainly there are two reasons. First reason we we had a bit of frost mid-October, not in this part, but further north. And uh, I think most importantly, the weather during flowering was pretty bad or a bit patchy. So we had a bit of southerly wind coming through, which always means cold, unsettled, wet weather. And around the months of November to Boxing Day, 26th of December, I think we recorded about 500 mils of rainfall as well. No, so that much? Rain, yeah. <gasps> Yeah. December was like summer in Europe. I mean, not 2018, but yes. rainy, cool, windy, and flowering during this time. That means just you have, you see, bunches are really open. loose, yeah. open, which is good because you don't get a lot of disease and stuff. But crop level-wise, it's just yeah. Yeah. So I think there no was crop. there was as as Rafa pointed out, there were two advantages of that. Uh, we didn't have have to irrigate to quite late. Mm. Uh, I think from memory when we first started putting nets on, when we first uh, observed Veresion which is closer to the, the winery block. And where, where, what date is that? Ooh, what one's that what one? when we first uh, started the Veresion? Uh, so the colouring of the grapes from green to... The I would say first week of January. First around, week of January, yeah. Around first week of January. Wow, that yeah. is early. It depends. Normally the, the young wines are advanced. Mm -hmm rather than the, the old ones yeah, uh, yeah. where we are at the moment. But yeah, roughly first week of January. First week of January. Yeah. Yeah. And then January, I wasn't here, but yeah, I think it yeah. was just yeah. hot, hot, hot. No, one, no wonder I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't I tell didn't me that it was so early. Yeah. <laughs> to give you an idea, when we finished netting the Pinot Noir in, on the, the A block, the last day was about 37 degrees. <gasps> so we were pulling nets at 37 degrees. Uh, Lucky and, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was. That's why I have such a yeah. color. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they don't. Great. Yeah. O obviously, the biggest disadvantage is the crops are really low. Yeah. yeah. But the the advantage was that we we actually um, delayed irrigation and the fact that you see you see, you'll notice now we've got incredible ripeness and the fact that the bunches are open uh, we don't have a lot of disease pressure as well. Yes. So there's good wind. Yeah. Yeah. Even though there's the, the weather right now is a little bit humid for the summer. Yeah, the but it's always a breeze going through, so yeah. mm -hmm. that's yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. quite nice and especially, I mean, the last few days when I arrived, we, we went through this block of, of Pinot Noir, tasted the berries and said, yeah, a bit unripe, maybe we can wait another week. Yeah. And uh, suddenly, yesterday, we tasted yeah. again and, well, um, this is going so rapidly now. Yeah. The flavors are here and we just need to hurry up and pick the grapes before it all shrivels together and we're just left over with noble Pinot Noir. And yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> the real ma major aspect of ripeness, or ripening here in New Zealand, again, is the cooler nights and the warmer days. Yeah. So just to give, give you guys an idea, we've had um, nine degree uh, minimums and about 20 degree maximums. So that, that variation in temperature. Uh, yeah, I know when I arrived back from Europe, yeah. one day we had 26 yeah. and it went down to 1.5. <laughs> yeah, so the neighbor had the frost machine <laughs> running. Yeah, 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 I remember that. But yeah. then the, the other curious thing was whole summer we had uh, a lot of really muggy, you know, like in Europe, muggy and sticky yeah. warm nights. We yeah. even had some sunstorms here, yeah. which is which is no. very unusual yeah. for this. few days yeah. in a row. But no hail, hopefully. No, 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 no hail. No. And no rain, just boom, yeah. lightning. Yeah. We do have hail in Germany and Switzerland, of course, so that's one of the biggest risks in, in European wine making, actually. Mm. But here, Not as bad here, maybe further north. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think we almost tend to uh, miss the weather as well, in terms of rainfall. The, the fact that the vineyard is so close to the river, uh, the rain almost kind of bypasses us so we don't get much of the the rain um, coming from the other yeah. side. Okay. It really depends. If we get westerlies we stay dry normally. Yeah. If we get easterlies we're wet. <laughs> yes. All the yeah. time. 
No, so what is your verdict now for 2019? Oh, few words, small crop, super ripe and super flavored. And perfect quality, I mean, yeah. uh, meanwhile, um, these are some of our oldest vineyards or vines here now and the taste profile of these grapes are just magnificent. And yeah, we're doing quite, quite enormous quality jump this year, especially with these very low crop levels. Mm. Thank you for all this information, especially for you out there, so you can see what's happening here in 2019 at the Vintage Yona Estate. Yeah. Looking forward to making some smashing wines. Yeah, yeah. all the best. Yeah. All right, cheers.